I've never been out of Nigeria before. It's because I can't afford it. But trust me, if I can afford to travel today, I will travel. The new people are so hard to come by. So when you have anybody at your corner cheering up for you, supporting you, being there for you, you know, we all love money. We all like money. We all want to have money. We all want to be a billionaire, a millionaire, a trillionaire. Hi, besties. My name is Ayo, and you're welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be telling you guys 37 things that I've learned in life so far. I've been on self-discovery journey for the past one year and I've been trying to learn and unlearn some things about me. Trust me guys, it has not been an easy journey. Trust me guys, going on a self-discovery journey has not been an easy one for me. But with the help of the people around me, the good people around me, I must say, good people around me, they've been trying to help me. They've been trying to put me on track and they've been trying to recommend books for me to read and that's it so let's just go into the 37 things that i've learned in life so far i really want to make this video as short as it can be if you are here don't forget to like this video share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel first thing on my list here is never be guilty to start again see there is no shame in falling down but the only time you feel ashamed is when you keep lying on the floor. Once you fall, get back up. Number two, nothing lasts forever. Nothing lasts forever. Even our lives doesn't last forever. Your friends, your families, your loved ones, they won't last forever. God forbid, your money or fame might not even last forever. So you just need to know that and get that at the back of your head that nothing lasts forever, actually. Family before friends. I learned this in a hard way. And I am telling you because I don't want you to make this mistake. Don't put your don't put any friend over family. Family first. Then number four, your family might drain you. Is it not tricky how we say family before friends? But your family might drain you. So that's just it. I mean that's the irony of life. That's the irony of life. Your family might drain you. So, in dealing with your friends or your family, you need to be careful. Have a mind of your own. Having a mind of your own is the ability to be able to decide on your own. Some people don't know what is good and what is bad. They tend to meet different people for different advices. If you don't have a mind of your own, you tend to get confused a lot in life, especially when it comes to making decisions. Number six, make sure the person you're putting first is also choosing you. Make sure the person you are putting first is also choosing you. Be it in a relationship, be it in friendship. I mean, you can't be carrying someone like a bag of rice and the person is holding you like a pinch of salt. It doesn't make sense, right? So number seven, be careful of friends who don't support your business. The truth is not all friends will support your business. I mean, not everybody will support your business, but just be careful of the people who don't support your business. Is it that they are jealous of your goods or they have this thing against you? I don't know. I'm just here to give you the advice. Then number eight, your friends might not buy from you. They might not. I mean, let me even put this to you. Your friends are not your customers. Your friends are not your customer. I've had business that I've done. And I mean, most of my friends, they didn't patronize me. And come on, we are still friends. So because your friend does not patronize you doesn't mean they are no longer your friends. Your friends might not patronize you and that is, that is it, period. Nothing more, no more explanation. Number nine, invest or save your first million. That's for the people that have made their first million already. I don't, I don't, have I made my first million? I think I have. I actually invested my first million. So don't go and buy a car. Oh, car is not an investment, it's a liability. <laughs> Number 10, 9 to 5 job will not make you wealthy. I'm also sitting on this table, guys. I've had a 9 to 5 job. I mean, in fact, I've done 9 to 5 job all my life. I resigned August last year at the bank. And I started doing my business. I mean, I won't lie to you. It is not easy. And money was not just coming in the way I expected money to come in. And guess who went back to 9 to 5 job? Me, after 7 months. I went back to my 9 to 5 job. But, I mean, 9 to 5 job will not make you wealthy. Will not, cannot give you Dangote status. That's just the thing. 
number 11, if they don't invite you, don't go. I mean, for someone not to invite you and you end up going to the party, you are just showing sign of low self-esteem. That's it. There's no explanation to it. If I've done, if I'd done that before in the past, it means I myself was showing sign of low self-esteem there, then, but not anymore. Number 12, travel the world when you can, if you can, if you have the money. I've never been out of Nigeria before. It's because I can't afford it. But trust me, if I can afford to travel today, I will travel. Number 13, learn to appreciate the genuine people in your life. Genuine people are so hard to come by. So when you have anybody at your corner cheering up for you, supporting you, being there for you, you need to appreciate them. You need to let them feel big. Yes, you need to let them feel big. Feel big, rather. Number 14, don't attach your happiness to things or people. Don't attach your happiness to your boyfriend. When your boyfriend is not around, you are not happy. When your husband is not around, you are not happy. Or don't attach your happiness to money. If you don't have money, you are sad and mushy mushy. I mean, we all want money. We all love money. We all like money. We all want to have money. We all want to be a billionaire, a millionaire, a trillionaire. But you guys create your own happiness. You have to create your own happiness. Happiness is something of the inside, something of the mind. Let your happiness be from within. Don't attach your happiness to anything. Some people, if they don't make their hair, they can't go out, they can't feel good. Some people, if they don't wear makeup, they can't go out, they can't feel good. They'll be like, oh, I look like this, I look like this. No. Learn to create your own happiness. Number 15. If plan A does not work, try plan B, guys. Let me use myself as an example. I told you guys I resigned last year, August, in the bank. All because I'm like, oh, when I start doing my makeup, money will start coming in. The first so and so I'll start making, I'd already calculated it, but it didn't really work out the way I expected it to work out. Then I had to go back to my 9 to 5. That's the irony of life. Like, come on. <laughs> Number 16, learn to forgive yourself. Like, come on. See, I'm putting this to you now. We all grow up and do the things we say we will never do, but that's not the end of the world. You just have to move on, you have to grow. You will not say, oh, because I did this, I've already promised myself that I won't do this to you, so, 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 and so. And I find myself doing it based on the situation around me, or based on what is happening around me, or based on one challenge or the other. I mean, you have to forgive, forgive yourself and move on now. You have to forgive yourself and move on. Number 17, prayer works. Prayer truly works. Prayer surely works. I don't know what you believe in, but I believe in God. I'm a Christian. And over time, or over all the times I've been praying, I've prayed to God for one thing or the other. My good God has been answering me. Except the things that he, he knows that if he give this girl this thing, may not be saying that this thing will kill her last, or this thing is not good for her. That's the, that's just it, guys. Prayer works. Number 18, write your goals and dreams. This has really worked for me, and I'm sure it has worked for a lot of people. So let me give you this story here. Yeah? There's this my sister her name is adija she did her wedding last year and she opened her makeup studio this year when she opened her makeup studio this year she posted something on her stories on our WhatsApp status and she posted a book where she wrote everything that that she wants for the year and trust me guys everything everything happened the way she wrote it she said she wanted to get married so so and so yeah she got married she said she wanted to have a child, so so and so yeah, she had a baby. And she also shared and she also said that she wants to live where she was hustling, then that she wants to have her own studio. And trust me, she had a studio. So learn to write things down. Don't watch porn, guys. This is for both men and women, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Don't watch porn. Porn is addictive and it can destroy you as a person. Number 20. Life happens and change is constant. Change is the only thing that is constant. And life happens. Anything can happen in life. But the ability to cry and move on is what you are going to embrace. At 21, don't procrastinate. Guys, I'm also sitting on this table comfortably. But you know the thing that has been helping me? To the glory of God is music. 
if I say I want to do something, maybe I want to write, I want to read a book, I want to clean the house or anything, I'll start listening to music. So you might also look for an enabler. That's why it's good to know the kind of person that you are. I like music. Music keep, keeps me going. Music helps me with a lot of things. Help me relieve stress and everything. So instead of procrastinating, do it now. Do it what? Now. Number 22. Stop telling people everything. Leave a little. Leave a little. Keep them guessing. Just leave that small one. Okay, tell them 99%. Don't tell them the remaining one. I talk a lot, guys. I talk a lot. But... I talk a lot. It's as if I'm attacking myself because I don't even want, I don't know the bot that, that I want to say. But all I know is I talk a lot, but I still get secrets. I still have secrets. Number 23, let your anger be expensive. My former colleague, Tayo, shout out to Tayo. She's the one that told me this thing. I just find myself getting angry, getting annoyed over little things like, but she now told me that, ah, yo, they don't, they don't, you, don't, you, don't, you don't live your life like this. Stop getting angry over everything. Just let it be expensive. If you know that, oh, manga is expensive. So when someone step on you, you just be like, oh, okay, manga is expensive. You can go. You know that kind of thing now. But don't say that. <laughs> don't say that. Number 24. If you cannot decide, then the answer is no. If you cannot decide on something, the answer is no. Learn to say no. Somebody is coming to you to borrow 20,000 naira from you. I know 20,000 naira is your salary, although you have 20,000 naira. And you know you cannot let 20,000 naira go. You try to tell the person, I'm sorry, I don't have 20,000 naira to borrow you. Or I have 5,000 naira. Can you take 5,000 naira? Because you know you can let go of 5,000 naira. The person doesn't even give you back. It soon touch you. Like you won't feel it more. Like borrowing some more your 20,000 naira. So learn to say no, but not to everybody, not to everything. 25 reward yourself reward yourself when you collect that salary eat or buy good things if that hair that has been that you have been high eyeing that hair that you've screenshotted buy it it will not hurt you it will not harm you just reward yourself you are the one that is working for your money today now if they call you say grandma swallow blade that they need hundred thousand naira. You cough it, but you cannot buy a shoe of twenty thousand naira for yourself. So you need to learn how to reward yourself. Because at the end of the day, you are the one that is working for your money. You are the one that is doing things for yourself. You are the one that is keeping yourself moving. You are the one that is making things happen for yourself. Twenty six. Practice the act of kindness. Practice giving. Give. Try to give people. Try to help the needy. And when you are giving, don't. Start posting on social media today. I'm giving Langbaja 20,000 naira tomorrow. I'm going to the orphanage. I'm making videos. Except if you are a philanthropist, that is what you do. Or, or except if you are doing that for people to support you. So you'll be able to help more people like Kofun, like Kofun Foundation. But if you are not, you are not a philanthropist. You are just trying to do the lead, to do the bit that you can. Don't post on social media. Don't make videos. 27. Cry when you feel the urge. I so much I so much like this number 27 in the sense that guys when I lost my mom, I feel like I didn't cry more. I was shocked at that point, at that moment, for that period. And I also left the area. I also left my former area. I came to a new place. So I just feel like I didn't cry more. So anytime I think about my mom, I'll feel like crying. But I'll be like, ah, let me shake it off. Don't shake it off. Anytime you feel like crying cry anytime you feel like crying guys cry just release the emotion once you release the emotion you get better after it eh cry and pick yourself up and say oh yeah now life you don't do your own one one and you move on so that will take us to number 28 number 28 learn to know yourself better learn to know the kind of person that you are learn to know what your talents are if you ask me what is my talent i know my talent is to talk, guys. If you've been watching my videos, you will know I say this all the time. My talent is to talk. I talk a lot. In fact, I'm a, chat I'm a chatter boss. But I know that one day, you see this talking name, it is going to pave way for me. It is going to make way. This is my mouth. This free gift of nature that God gave me. Don't worry. Number 29, work on your bad habits. My bad habit is also talking a lot, but of late, I've learned how to control it. 
once I notice that I'm talking too much, once I read the room, I just plug in my earphones or my airport and I start listening to music. It will make me quiet for like two, three hours. I even do that at work. When I notice that, ah, I've been talking, I've been engaging everybody, everybody has been laughing, everybody has been disturbing, we've been shouting, I'll be like, okay, let me just shut up. I think it's that time I shut up. I plug in my music and I start hearing music. 30. Set your priorities right. Bimbo, Bimbo Akisoya told me this thing. She said, Ayo, set your priorities right. Four, five years ago, I just found myself buying everything. Once I get this one, I buy. Once I get this one, I buy. Once I call a salary, I buy. And one day she came to meet me like, Ayo, you have to set your priorities right. They don't do the things like this. They don't spend money like this. Do you understand? She... See, you guys need to have a friend like Bimbo. That's the only thing I can say. Have a friend like Bimbo. Bimbo is the only friend that will call me out. And still say, Ay, why are you annoyed? Can you imagine? Number 31. Because they can help you doesn't mean they will help you. Don't be entitled to everybody's money. Because your uncle has money doesn't mean your uncle is going to pay for that your tuition fee. Because your uncle has money doesn't mean your uncle will buy you that car. Doesn't mean your uncle will give you that money that you asked for. So you need to learn to be contented. Don't be entitled to anybody. Don't be entitled to anybody's money. Number 32, try delay gratification. My husband told me this thing. Try delay gratification. Once you see, let me just give you an example. Once you see something online and you really want to buy, do you get? Once you see something online, I'm like, ah, I really like this bag, I really like this purse, I like this shoe, I like this thing. See, don't mind me that I'm using material things as an example. I'm literally using myself as an example because this kind of person that I am. And this video is just, it's just as if I'm exposing myself. So, guys, I also made this mistake. So, you will not make the same mistake as myself. So, listen to my advice. So once you see something that you like, give yourself time. I'm like, do I really need this thing? If you don't have twice the money in your account, don't buy it. Period. No argument. That will take us to number 33. Make friends that align with your goal in life. Trust me, I don't even want to overemphasize it. I don't want to overstretch it. Don't make friends that don't align. Because at the end of the day, it won't work out. And you feel like, oh, I'm losing friends. You're looking, you're losing friends because they are not the one for you in the first place. Number 34, distance yourself from the people that you don't want to become. I'm not going to say much on this or I'm not going to say anything on it. But I think it's self, self um, I think it's self-explanatory. So just distance yourself. From the people you don't want to be like, oh, I don't want to be like, do, 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 when I grow up, then distance yourself from, do, 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 so don't do what, do, 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 so did, so become that kind of person he or she is at the moment. So look up to people that align with your goal. That's just it. Then number 35, this one is for the ladies. Clean your makeup before you go to bed. I made this mistake a lot growing up when I was 15, 16. I don't really know much about makeup. Then when I wake up the next day, I'll see big, big pimples on my head, on my forehead. So now, no matter how tired I am, in fact, I take my shower. If I don't take my shower, I won't be able to sleep. So in the process of taking my shower, I have to clean my makeup. So that's just it. Then number 36, learn a skill if you can. Learn a skill if you can. I mean, it's not easy. If I had if I'd known or someone has told me this when I was in school, when I was growing up, I would have learned... This is my makeup. I mean, I really like doing makeup on myself and for people. I really like to do makeup. But I just found myself procrastinating. Saying, ah, I'm going to learn. Ah, I'm going to learn. Ah, I'm going to learn. And I didn't learn. Learn a, learn a skill if you can. Skill is not for everybody. I mean, so people enjoy their 9 to 5. I also like my job. But if you can, and there are a lot of skills that you can learn. You can learn how to make dress. You can even learn how to crush it. How to crush it doesn't, doesn't require much. And I notice a lot of people sell crochet online now, and it's quite expensive. Trust me, you see two pieces of crochet swimsuits for 20,000, 30,000 naira. So, learning a skill is just like a bonus, like a side also that will give you money aside your five 
um, massage your night skin. Five. Guys, the last but not the least. Learn to embrace yourself irrespective of what happened. If you fail, cheer yourself up. There's always a next time. You can try again. Not because, oh, I failed this exam. I'm not going to take it again. If you're writing your icon and you've been failing that icon, you've been failing that subject, failing that topic, guys, keep doing it. Keep doing it. Embrace yourself. And I mean, if you win too, so before anybody clap for you, clap for yourself. Like, hey, now me do this one. I try. Brag about yourself. No pride. But brag about yourself. Appreciate yourself. Take care of yourself. Enjoy yourself. And guys, that is the end of today's vlog. But before I go, guys, I'll try to chip in something. There's someone somewhere watching you. In fact, the world is watching you. So don't give up on yourself, irrespective of what happened. Every mistake will give you a chance to do something the next time. Every no is going to open the door for your yes. And don't forget to share up. Don't forget to share up. Don't forget to don't and don't forget to be a good person. Be a good person to yourself and be truthful to yourself. So if you are still here, don't forget to like my video, subscribe to my channel, and also share this vlog with your friends. And guys, do you like my hair? My hair is from Lucy Hair, and I want you guys to patronize that. See you guys in my next vlog. Bye.